Hi friends. I am going to try something new. It's an idea I've had and I just wanted to give it a try. So you're the first to see something like this. Um, it is so hard to have an open studio when people are spread all across the country, maybe even further. And um, also just uh, with COVID and all of that, hard to have people in to see your work. So today I wanna actually introduce you to one of the works that I love, and it's a recent work. It's called Summer Cathedral. So let's take a look. I wanna explain it to you and tell you my process a bit and also why I did what I did. Here's my studio. You can see it's not very large. And this is Summer Cathedral. It measures 20 inches tall by 16 inches wide. I start with an underpainting in very bright colors. I try to find colors that are a little different than the colors that will be in the end. They're gonna peek through in places. My next step is to add in structure. I've created the basic structure of the main tree here, almost in a wash. I've added in a few of the background trees and also then starting to add in some of the lighter background sky colors. I really want my underpainting to show in a few places, so I'm not covering everything. I'm adding in the rest of the colors now, thinking about where they will look light, where they will look dark. I want the underpainting to show in places, and I want to maintain a sense of a stained glass window. That's the feeling I got as I looked at this tree, and it's how I came up with its name. From the dancing leaves at the top of the tree, to the taller grasses down below, I wanted to portray a sense of the creator and the glory that he puts into every bit of his creation through color and light. In its final form, I really wanted to bring out a glow. That's what I was seeing, um, a sense of the beauty of the sunlight coming through the leaves. Here you can see a variety of the colors that are used. There's a whole palette full of different colors, greens and browns, blues, even some lavenders. This gives a sparkle to the sense of light coming through the branches. In the main trunk of the tree, you're going to see again a variety of colors that seem to give a sense of vitality to the entire picture. The brushwork adds some texture to it, and of course then in the foreground, you see the texture of the grasses and the implied motion that you would see in a little bit of a breeze. I'm so glad I got to introduce you to this painting, Summer Cathedral. I hope it's been fun to see how it was made and some of my thoughts as I went into making it. You can see this painting and more at my website, helencreed.com.